family business. They want more for their chickens than they had growing up, Hasty. <laughs> Uh, I I don't I I think it's great. I think that Ring of Honor would finally have somebody that's theirs. You know, years and years ago, if you'd have said, you know, is Ring of Honor going to have somebody? I'd say it was Brian Danielson. Yeah. I'd say that he was going to be a lifer, and that didn't last long. Mm-mm. And I don't know who else I would have said after that, other than uh, maybe maybe Roderick Strong, who again left. So I, I think the Briscoes are their last like lifers. And I think that I think it's good. I think everybody enjoys it, including the fans. Yeah. So. Yep. And like, like I said, it. it's going to be an interesting ride going forward. And I think Ring of Honor would be hurting if they didn't have the Briscoes there for it. And... For sure. It definitely gives them legitimacy. And I'm ready to see them get their uh, their 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 egg carton of of championship titles for tag team. You know, because you get you get a dozen in an egg carton. I like that. You're getting, I made that up and it sounded shitty, but it was all me, baby. It was all me. Ah, uh, pasty. We're we're crossing we're crossing the old Atlantic here from Delaware over to the United Kingdom because five new superstars, pretty deadly, Levi Muir, Candy Floss, and Danny Luna. That's the only good jo- name out of the bunch. Which one, Danny Luna? Yeah. Oh, I love Candy Floss. Uh, what about Pretty Deadly? What uh, about Le- Levi Muir? Uh, I think they're all great. They've all joined NXT UK also, and will be training at <laughs> WWE's United Kingdom Performance Center in North London soon. It's the WWE UK PC. So in to break this down for you, Pretty Deadly is the tag team of Sam Stoker and Lewis Howley. They have impressed in recent showings on NXT UK television, taken on the likes of The Hunt, as well as Kenny Williams and Amir Jordan. Then we have the sugary sweet 20-year-old grappler Candy Floss, who has experience across Europe and in Japan. In her previous turns on NXT UK, the pink-haired superstar has battled competitors like Rhea Ripley, Kaylee Ray, and Tony Storm. Levi Muir is a British powerlifting champion turned wrestler with plenty of in-ring experience in the United Kingdom, including promotions like Progress. And another Progress standout, Danny Luna, comes to NXT UK with several years of in-ring experience and has crossed paths with the likes of Ripley, Tony Storm, Nina Samuels, Piper Niven, and Mako Satamura. So it'll be interesting to see what these five do. I am. I gotta be upfront as upfront and honest. I have not watched any NXT UK at all ever since its incarnation. Not that I have anything against it. There's just too much wrestling to watch that I can't specifically tune in for them. I just can't do it. Yeah. Oh, and finally, if you couldn't get enough, the great Kali, a trio of recruits from India, including a couple seven footers. I've reported to the WWE Performance Center in Orlando this week. Oh, man, a stable of Kali. That would be fantastic. Yeah, we, we want that, don't we? Call him the three-man <clears throat> bland. <laughs> I don't like it. Which, sadly, I guess uh, old, uh, old Drew McIntyre said great, or uh, Ginger Mahal is coming back. Good. <sighs> Good. Dude, Go ahead. Ah, his run was better than a lot of runs in recent times. That's all I'm saying. You know what, when when your appearance in wrestling is better than the runs, all that's saying is you're better than shit. <laughs> so, okay, we'll give him that. Ah, uh, yes, yes. And I mean, Jinder Mahal was a champion. Drew Drew's getting his shot. Now I can't wait. I can't wait for Heath Slater to finally get his opportunity. Is he still contracted or is he free oh, yet? Yeah, he is. He's a lifer, is man. He? he gets money to do nothing. You he can't blame him. him. You just can't blame the man. He's got kids. He wants to stay away from them. <laughs> what was it that um I was just talking to a coworker of mine about this. What was it that Rhino used to always eat while they had their interviews when they were a tag team? God, was it cake? I don't think it was cake. Oreos? 
It might have been Oreos. Oreos is what struck my brain first, but I'm like, I don't want to be that on the nose because it seems weird. It might have been Oreos. <laughs> I just I just remember that Rhino just always sat, didn't say anything, just sat there and ate something. I don't remember what it was while Heath Slater went off on his rant about, I have kids and putting in a swimming pool and stuff. We liked it. But it would be great because then he, if Slater gets his chance, then, then they can reform the faction and all be like accomplished superstars and go back to jobbing. <laughs> but no. these superstars, as I have been talking about, this army of Kali have reported to the WWE Performance Center in Orlando this week at seven feet tall, 310 pounds. Gurvinder Singh of J- Jagadari <laughs> is an experienced cricketer and actor that trained for wrestling under awkward tutelage of the not so great Kali. <laughs> Suck wiener gruel. I love I love the suck wiener. We like suck wiener gruel. I, I want him as my champion. <laughs> can, you, can you picture it on the marquee? Yes, I can. Brock Lesnar versus suck wiener gruel. Bucket. <laughs> but, but Vince, but Vince, I really don't think we should put suck wiener gruel as our champion. George Barrios. Yeah, fire! <laughs> oh, I'm dying. Oh. <laughs> I'd love if that's why George Barrios was fired. <laughs> he didn't want suck winder, suck wiener gruel. <laughs> oh, it's fun stuff. <laughs> uh, oh. Woo! Composure. <laughs> I gotta say his name again, though. That's you do. I love it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I can do this. Suckwinder Gruel is another Titanic trainee of the talentless Kali, standing <laughs> seven foot two and weighing in at three hundred and forty pounds. The twenty-four year old played basketball before setting his sights on the ring. Dun, dun, dun. <sighs> This name is almost just as funny, but for stupid reasons. 25-year-old Laxmi Kant Rajput comes to the PC from Banda and has athletic experience in javelin throwing and taekwondo. Javelin throwing will do him such good in the ring. Oh, awesome. I was really hoping you were going to pronounce it Laxmi Kunt. <laughs> <laughs> Lax me cunt, Lax me cunt, Rajput. <laughs> uh, can we have throw, more of these guys come? I the throw javelin. <laughs> My name is Lax me cunt. I throw javelin. I made him Irish for some reason or Scottish. Almost, almost My name's like Lax me cunt, lad. I throw the javelin. <laughs> I come from the great land of India. <laughs> Along with my friend old Suckwinder Gruel over there, yeah. <laughs> Met him Suck on the Winder golf course. Suckwinder Gruel for president. <laughs> 2020, baby. Uh, oh, man. Whew, that was I good we gotta, times. We, that, that small little news snippet took way longer than I thought it was going to take. You didn't think that was going to be gold when you wrote it? <laughs> no. Well, you know, you don't hear it in your head when you're writing it. <laughs> I mean, like, I was proud of myself for the little nicknames that I gave Kali. <laughs> but that, that had nothing to do with what was funny. <laughs> Not a damn bit. I, I could have just kept the great Kali in every one of them. It would have been the same. Yeah. yeah. I was, I was, I, to be honest, I was super happy of another Titanic trainee of the talentless Kali. Like, I was proud of that. It is good. Fucking, it is good. But, all, but as soon as what? you said Suck Wiener Gruel, <laughs> it sucked all the shit out of the Titanic. There had nothing there. <laughs> it was good. I can't follow that. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? You, just, you really can't. I, and I can't follow it with these news stories, so we're just going to just move on like nothing happened. <laughs> Folks, time for the injury report, the one we never want to talk about. And 
Here we got all the. Keep you guys updated on these guys' progress at the performance (laughs) center. I promise you. I promise. Have we got an update on old Bret Hart made? (laughs) (laughs) Or Bret Hart, as he's known to his fans. Bret Hart made a health update on Instagram Thursday. Yes, folks, the best there is, the best there was, with the worst luck there has ever been. Wrote, goal for 2020 and beyond, wear more sunscreen. Basil cell carcinoma, I think I said that right, removal scheduled soon. Another opportunity to remind everyone to look after your health and hashtag get checked. So, Pasty, I did do a little research on this one, and according to skincancer.org, BCC, as it's known. browser right off the bat. Yeah. It's got to be a thing. (laughs) Or I just did a Google search, and that's the one that popped up, and it looked legitimate because it said org and not com. (laughs) Um, BCC, as it's called. Skincancer.tv. Right. (laughs) It's a it's a cancer that grows slowly, so with it with early detection and treatment, most cases are curable. Thankfully, even if not curable, it's super rare for a basal cell basal cell carcinoma to spread and become a life threatening disease. So, um, hopefully, moral it isn't. Story, you know, folks, gonna lay off the basil. You are what you eat. Moral of the story is Bret Hart just has the worst luck there ever will be. The Once man again, just I do have cannot to know, catch a it, fucking is it, break. Is it on his hand? <laughs> I remember that. That was good. <laughs> can't, I can't make it, Vince. It's my hand. I can't make it. Sorry. Uh, you're going to have to find a replacement. Call up that suck wiener guy. I heard suck wiener's awesome. Just give, just give him a call. <sighs> Fit Finlay. He loves to fight. Father of New Japan's wrestling star and co-tag team champion David Finley and current WWE producer announced on Twitter that he was having shoulder surgery Thursday. Shoulder. Soldering surgery. They're soldering his shoulder. (laughs) He's having shoulder soldering. Shoulder soldering surgery. Uh, I couldn't come up. (laughs) Saturday. I'm having shoulder replacement surgery. I've elected to try the newest experimental development in this field. It will have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi capability. Amazing. You know how fucked up this world is? I don't know if he's fucking joking or if this is legit. (laughs) I I, I honestly do not. It's all good until you realize Bluetooth can only uh, interact with one device at a time. (laughs) (laughs) What more would you need it to interact with? I don't know. That's just something I've been either. thinking about in my brain lately. Like, Bluetooth is okay, but they need to get the next tooth out. That, we need some green teeth. Like, I'd like my phone or to be blue able to do whatever I wanted to without having to shut everything else off. Yeah, we want blue, te- blue teeth. <laughs> um, Yeah, you know, I, I sit here and wonder as I, as I was writing this up the other day. Is Fit Finley known for his WWE tenure, or do most wrestling fans now know him as David Finley's dad? I wasn't sure, so we just threw it all in there. I know him for his wrestling with uh, with with Hornswoggle. And... Well, you do, but you're old. Yeah, but, but that's still not his original run with WWE, right? Because I don't know the run before that. Um, he didn't like, have a run like before he that. In... He was the WCW NWA guy before that. Oh, he was okay. Dave Finley under okay. his under his legal name. I got it. I mean, it was the same gimmick, but that's he just, what he, he was. He had the air of somebody who was like a, a veteran in WWE with the way they treated him, other than the having the know. having the, the midget being his leprechaun. <laughs> <sighs> well, Pasty, Sasha Banks wasn't at this year's Royal Rumble event in any capacity. Trust me, I noticed. <laughs> because, Fucking let Pasty. me down, bitch. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> Never again. I love that. I love it. Several reports state this was due to injury. Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful gave out word that Sasha was absent from action because of an injury, and Mike Johnson of PW Insider added that the reported injury is reasoning for why her story with Lacey Evans has seen all scheduled matches getting canceled along the way. 
Johnson adds that Banks was planned to be in the Rumble up until Saturday, the day before. But the injury me, is what ultimately been kept her from up competing. This. I've been in the studio working on an <laughs> album produced by my uncle Snoop Dogg. And at that point, I'm like, yeah, they're going to push her. <laughs> and Snoop Dogg's going to be a mania. Well, it would seem, Pacey, that whatever the injury is, it is ankle-related, allegedly. So... <clears throat> 